Hello everyone, most sad to welcome you to the 62nd episode of Starfield. In the last episode we came over here in Jenardine and today I'm hoping to get inside. I understand why people settled here. And uh, but it's not really my style. Let's it's see. More like a trap than a diversion to me. Barrett, didn't I give you? Hey, so it's been a long time since I worked with someone so closely. I didn't realize how much I missed it. Okay. And you haven't stopped me from looking into this stuff with Irvin either. So, thank you. Why would it stop you? Well, there's a school of thought that you shouldn't go chasing ghosts. And they're probably right. Ghosts are spooky. But maybe this isn't that kind of chase. And Irvin's case is far from dead. If it matters to you, it matters to me. See, that's what makes you a good captain in my book. You're supportive. On that note, I do have some news about Irvin's case. So, I wanted to let you know that I heard back from my contact, and I think you'll want to hear this. They sent me a copy of some public records. It's interesting. There was a claim filed against Irvin, accusing him of damaging their investments. Looks like Irvin didn't even enter a plea. Who brought the case to court? The Hephaestus Mining Corporation. And they also won the case. What was the settlement? Some of Irvin's paychecks were seized, as well as any assets that weren't under joint ownership. I don't understand how Irvin could be guilty of that. Well, if it was Irvin, I do want to understand that, because I just can't believe it. Anyway, this mining corporation, Hephaestus, sued Irvin, claiming he irreparably damaged their mine. They said he killed the apex predators in the area around the mine, which led to herd creatures overeating the grasses. That caused the soils to release too many gases too fast, which cost Hephaestus a ton of money. Killing apex predators led to all that? They claim the creature he killed was a critical hive species that caused a cascade effect when they were killed off. Irvin killed the equivalent of a queen bee, and the whole hive collapsed, basically. That seems hard to prove. Uh, it looks like they considered him a no-show and ruled against him. So anyway, according to the court documents, there was a witness for the defense who was a no-show too. Then Hephaestus won by default. They tried to take his apartment, but because it's in my name too, they couldn't. Did you know about the apartment before this? I didn't know he bought it. Must have been a better deal than renting for the time he was there. Why didn't the witness show up? They withdrew their testimony the morning of the trial. Said they had a sincere change of heart. Is your contact still available for work? Yes. They plan to stay in the same system for a while. Sounds like the case is closed. That doesn't mean we can't do anything about it. And if nothing else, I just want to know more about what happened to Irvin. So here's what I was thinking. I can persuade my contact to keep digging a little bit more. I don't want to press our luck, so I'll just ask them to follow up on one thing. Should I tell them to investigate the company more or look into the witness instead? This is what I was saying. Uh, he is gonna cost me, but he did not give me money, any money credit. What do you want to find out with this with, with the witness? I wonder what his real reason was for retracting his testimony. Did he report anything to security? What can we find out by investigating the company? I just want to know why they picked Irvin. Why did they set him up? 
pay your smuggler contact to investigate both. For that much money, <laughs> they'll do it. You know, this investigation is time consuming, but it's also pretty cathartic. And who knows? Maybe if we solve this case, it'll mean a better future for Gagarin. Sure. But that's thinking too far ahead. Anyway, Captain, thanks for checking in with me. Barrett, come over here. I wonder how deep the oceans are here. They seem impossibly deep. Yeah. Why don't you do one thing, Barrett? Where are you? Come over here, buddy. Yeah. Why don't you do one thing? Talk to me. Wait here a moment. Okay. Waiting here. Watch yourself. Yeah, I will. Uh, because he does not have any... Somehow he is not uh, getting in invisible and also he does not have uh, the thing. And there are people he would kill and I don't want to kill people. far so good sixteen meters away let's go for it things okay one thing track airlines EM is very good uh, I should take this one because I'll have to go to have to go for Crixus legacy and there should be electromagnetic field.
let's wait over here and let it cool down the guard did not see me the researcher did Okay, thankfully we are okay now. going careful Let me go to the core. I'm out of here. This is hopeless. Can't I'm out. It. Can't take it. Get out, get out, get out. I don't want to. This isn't worth it. Yeah, this is it. Get out, get out! Technician Shibata, currently posted to Genadai's R&D laboratory. Personal notation. I'd like to go on record about my feelings about Chief Technician Beiyu. Though most of my fellow employees feel that he's underqualified and incompetent. I feel that they are underestimating him. I've spoken to Brayson at length, and I find him actually to be a kind and endearing person. I think that living in the shadow of his brother, Administrator Benjamin Bayou, has given him a bad name, and that's a shame. From what I can gather, he was placed in his current position against his own better judgment, and asked to do the impossible. 
It's an unfortunate situation, but I will endeavor to get the rest of the technicians in the department to be more supportive. Sure, lady. You think that's gonna help? recovering so soon. And who's shooting? I have found Bayou. Now what? want to do any harm to you guys but by you is it talking I'm out of here! 
Okay, Bayo is back in his room. That is what I wanted. Yes, go inside. Now, Bayo, talk to me. Come on, talk to me. Stop, please. Don't shoot. I didn't want to. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. <laughs> How did you know I was here for the encryption cipher? Uh, when you access the computer and the power core, it sent a notification to me here. I knew you were coming. I, I just didn't know when. Give me the cipher first, then I'll consider if anyone's going to get hurt. Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I I'm on your side. How? I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I agree. He deserves everything coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. How do you know he talks about you behind your back? One advantage to being perceived as stupid is that no one takes you seriously. When I walk into a party, I'm instantly the resident social pariah. But my eyes and ears are wide open. I can't tell you the number of times I've overheard that my brother has spread amusing anecdotes about his stupid brother. You should take him out. Murder my own brother. <laughs> Are you crazy? Just because I hate how he treats me, it doesn't mean I want him dead. I just... I want him to suffer. Like I have. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Why are you and Benjamin at such odds with each other? Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. It's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we, we never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Might as well have been from two separate families. That must have been tough. Well, that's an understatement. I never knew my actual mother. She was my father's mistress. And I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then there's dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Have you ever sought out your birth mother? Yeah, I've, I've tried, but I always hit a dead end. It's as though she was here one day and suddenly vanished the next. And then her existence was erased from everyone's memory. I wouldn't be at all surprised if my father had a kill to avoid public embarrassment. That's the kind of man he was. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Everyone's sorry. Just as sorry as I am. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do. And, and it's nice to get this off my chest, but talking about it isn't going to change a thing. 
That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. How did you end up working at Jenardine? As usual, you can thank my dear brother for that. At first, he made me deputy administrator. That went well, until I wouldn't cooperate with Owen Dexler and all of his thugs at Neon Security. Then, he had me work with Valentina over at Xenofresh, helping with Aurora distribution, until she pinned the credit skimming scam on me. And now, here I am, chief technician at Jenardyne. And I don't even know the first thing about electrical engineering. How rough are things down here for you at Jenardine? On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, I'm at about, I don't know, a negative eight. I don't have the background for this electrical engineering stuff, chief technician. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I heard. Ben stuck me down here, expecting me to work miracles. He didn't stop for even a second to think of the repercussions. That's so typical. All I need is one breakthrough, one, and I could shove this job right in his face. Damn, that would feel good. I'm not gonna tell him that the conduction grid can be adapted into anti-EME weapon technology. You should leave Neon. Strike out on your own. Huh. Easy for you to say. All my finances are tied into the family fortune. But Ben graciously allows me a monthly stipend. Besides, what I'd really love to do is prove myself by coming up with something amazing. Rather than running away. Oh well, I'll think of something. Eventually. All I have is what? The rest of my life? Do me a favor and don't tell my brother we talked. Hmm? Sure. He wouldn't like it. Okay, from Ayumi Komiki, according to last month's budget reports, you've spent over 10,000 credits and have nothing to show at the review. This has to stop. For the last two years, you have been promising some kind of breakthrough, yet you have absolutely nothing to show for your supposed efforts. I've spoken to Mr. Harada and we are both very disappointed but willing to give you another chance. You need to bring us something tangible. Brison, we have had we have had to pull storage cell O4 offline again today for a full diagnostic. According to our figures, it's reporting only a 93% efficiency rating, which indicates that it's slowly but surely in a process of de degradation. We must get the budget to fix these aging power cells, or in a few years' time, we could be looking at a total plant shutdown. From Technician Albertson. As per your request, here is the status of our currently active experiments. GDY022 failed, total meltdown of all internal components. GDY031 ongoing recommend replacement of windmill blades due to lightning damage. GDY053 failed, all test subject deceased, order for new subjects replaced. GDY067 failed, hydrothermic coils overheating suggest total redesign gdy 072 failed project cancelled due to projects projected cost and lack of personnel gdy 074 active setup complete request more time to adapt the plants to salt water gdy 077 active setup ongoing should be completed within the month Donald Laren, Laren Construction. The emergency exit from your office has been completed as per your specification the lift should be should bring you directly to surface and can be easily accessed using the standard elevator call system. The cost has been deducted from your personal account as requested. Please let me know if you have any issues with the product. So there is a lift over here which I am going to use. 
Benjamin Spayus Penthouse. Let's do the restricted. Okay. I'm sure uh, Barrett will come over here once we board the ship. Hell yeah! This is awesome! <laughs> Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. You were expecting me? Well, yes. You didn't think your little foray into Genodyne would go completely undetected, did you? If you're so smart, then you figure it out. Oh, I will. With or without your help. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Why do you care if the Crimson Fleet steals Janadan's secret? Because, like the majority of revenue-generating businesses in the city, I have a vested interest in Janadan's profits. But more importantly than simply losing money, I don't like anything in my city being interfered with without my approval. Cutting a deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. Really? They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. Do you? Your methods are no different than ours. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Yeah, right. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. What will happen to them? You don't have to worry about that in the least. You point me to our little mole and I'll do the rest. You don't even have to get your hands dirty. Perhaps we can come to a financial agreement instead? My dear friend, you couldn't possibly offer me enough money to offset the embarrassment that this has caused. I'm afraid you'll just have to reveal your source. It was Brayson by you. Brayson? Interesting. And here I thought my dear brother was simply a coward. Hmm. Perhaps I've misjudged Brayson. No matter. I'll deal with him soon enough. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my... Warmest regards. Fine. I'm encumbered, so don't mind. Retrieve the follower. Let's do one thing, let's uh, retrieve 
uh, Barrett. There's no funny stuff with that boost map. Anywhere in the galaxy. You sure you never find yourself on the wrong end of a... I thought I was going to come through the place I'd be making a I went in, but I was wrong. Let's slow down for a while and uh, when I reach to Barrett I can... Oh, 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 oh. What am I thinking? Yeah. Hey, keep your nose clean. Where is Barrett? Why are you here? I can't find Barrett, that would be embarrassing, right? Where is he? I'll let him come to me later on. Hello. Hello. I thought I was gonna retrieve bear, but looks like he's not over here. for Barrett. I don't want to go for Barrett right now. Get out of my face. Yeah, 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 yeah. So come on in. Enjoy some unique company. And toss back one of our exclusive. I have zoned out of my mind right now. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? The man is priceless. Yeah, I saved your ass. What happened at the Astral Lounge? Well, I was hoping we'd celebrate your return with some drinks and a pile of Aurora. I was about to start partying early when Boone Morgan tipped me off that Bay was on his way down with some neon security goons. I'm pretty sure I missed him by less than a minute. Left a ton of good stuff behind, damn it. I handled the situation. So I've heard. Throwing Brayson under the bus like that. Ouch. It was for the Crimson Fleet, so it benefits us all. That might help you sleep at night, but doesn't do me a hell of a lot of good. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Who do you owe money to? Well, a business partner of mine named Nix was the author of the virus. Don't know if you know him or not. Then there's the folks I paid to keep an eye on Ayumi Komiko, a few of the guards at Jennerdine. Like I said, it was a huge job. Honestly, I shouldn't be revealing my sources because that puts you on their radar as well. But hey, you asked. When I get back to the key, maybe I'll put in a word with Delgado. That's pretty cool of you to offer. 
but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not gonna be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. No, we all have our problems to deal with. Well, that's just great. I'm in debt laying low from Bayou and his brute squad, and now you're shutting me out? Delgado sure knows how to pick him. You know what? When you get back to the key, why don't you tell Delgado that I've had enough of his bullshit? I'm through. Sure. So what I'm gonna do... Velocity's such a grab rush. Oh, Howdy. I cannot fast travel right no. now because I'm encumbered. Let's see if I can go to the key. <laughs> You're carrying too much. Yeah, as I thought. Madame. I haven't been in this situation for a while. I forgot how it felt to be encumbered. <laughs> and there was this time I used to be encumbered all the time. Yeah, bed is here, right? I just saw him saying he has something for me. Yeah, there's Bert. Mm hmm? Do you have anything for me, Bert? Yeah, I do. How did you know? You just said it. Okay, anything I can help let's you trade with? gear. Sure. I wanted to give Barrett uh, this one. And Nova Plus uses uh, heavy fuse. Okay, right. I'm here for you. Should you need me? Yes, babe. Okay, so uh, first things first, I have to get out of here. Pressure holding, take off looks good. Orbital insertion complete. You may now move freely about the cabin. Sure. Now what I'm gonna do, I will uh, go to Wolf. Yep. And sell those artworks. Doc 
Docking complete. We're good to go. The station was rebuilt after it was destroyed by House Varun. It's unclear why they felt like rebuilding it was necessary, but they There's did. There's an evidence. All right, this one's up for grabs. Got plenty of supplies left at the UC outpost on Crete. The last raiding party was we sent was interrupted by spacers or maybe even competition from some independents. First ship that brings back a hold full of junk from that place gets a 20% cut. Anyone that rats this out or tries to strip the place on their own is going to get keel hauled outside the key. That's from Neva Mora. Hey. Good to see you. Certainly. Let's go back to my ship. Barrett, where were you? Where the hell were you? I was looking for you. Okay, we are good to go. Separation complete. Now let me head back to the key. find the doctor first but uh, Neva let's get back to the doctor later Neva all hell's breaking loose Rook Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible sure don't you want to hear what happened in Neon hooray you got the conduction gizmo you did exactly what we asked you to do good work pat on the head are you ignoring me or something? I just said there's an emergency. When is everyone going to stop calling me a rook? I did the job, I deserve the respect. <laughs> respect? That's why you're here? Look around you. The only reason all these losers are here is to earn credits to die trying. When I feel like you've earned it, I'll stop calling you Rook. Right now, we've got a crisis on our hands. Hope it isn't bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Sure. But first, I will uh, go with doctor's orders. Need something? Yeah. Let's fill up the, the doctor. Family. I believe this is the Crimson Fleet's headquarters. It's just so unlike them. The captain's here. Don't put up with any shit. Suddenly not from the room. Tell me you've got those supplies from Gennady. I'm on the last of my med packs here. The supplies are all yours. Everything's accounted for. No damage. I'm impressed. Sure you do. I might have to make this a regular thing. At least it's one way to get guaranteed supplies. I only need to determine Gennady's limits. I'd hate to break him. I can be very persuasive. I'm sure he'd continue to cooperate. <laughs> and he'd love every minute of it, right? Well, I'll arrange your payment so you can get out of here. I appreciate the help. Okay, now we can go to Delgado. Where the hell is the Rookmaster? 
Sure. And you are sure we will have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Dell. Really bad shape. I I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. You want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? What's this about defensive batteries? Nothing you need to worry about. Stay in your own space lane and let Jazz do her damn job. Now, do you have what we sent you to Neon for, or not? It's right here. Ah, perfect. I'll take that. <laughs> Dependable as always. Unlike some people we know. Yep. Oh, that's real funny. All right, listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. While we prepare for their arrival, I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. <laughs> How do you know that Sysdef is messing for an attack? I have a very reliable source at MAST. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Why is Crixus legacy so important? Oh my god. Haven't you been paying attention? No, you can tell me that. The only game. reason half the fleet's captains haven't scattered across the settled systems is because they're waiting for their part of the score. No money means no protection. No protection means we are done when Sistef arrives. Simple enough for you? I'll prep my ship immediately. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm gonna upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. Wait, I, I should take notes. <laughs> Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. What if nothing's there when I get to Bannock 4? You better pray that isn't the case, because that means we are done. As in, no more Crimson Fleet. Where do I build the ship models I need? Everything you'll need for ship repair and construction is down in Jass's section of the key. If you have any questions about the modules, she'll have all the answers. There's got to be a catch. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Sure. What if Sh Shinya can crack the encryption? That would be a first. I have yet to see encrypted currency that Shinya could not manipulate within hours. I mean, the guy plugs his body directly into his mainframe. He eats, breathes, and shits numbers all day. No, I'm not worried about him. Why will I need two transfer modules to open the vault? Because those Galbank ships were carrying so much money they didn't even trust their own crew. <laughs> you can count on me. Yeah, I sure hope so. Look, I'm going to make this real simple for you. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Sure, now sure, get sure. get moving. What's your biggest worry regarding the upcoming attack? The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield tech, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. <laughs> if we hope to stand a chance against it, 
We need those defensive batteries and Krix's legacy. Who are these captains you keep mentioning? You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet, and each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Is there more to Crix's legacy than just the money? The Crimson Fleet isn't really a fleet. It's an ideal, a principle that Crix sought to set up so that pirates didn't infight over scraps. Over time, that notion has been lost. Captains have been turning their backs on the fleet, doing jobs on the side, killing each other. Bringing Crix's legacy back to the fleet would be like validating everything Jasper Crix believed in. And I'm certain it would unify us once again. Of course, it wouldn't exactly hurt to have all that extra money at our disposal. But I think you catch my meaning. Get moving before it's too late. Yeah. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. How will the comm spike module help me find the legacy? The comm spike traces and decrypts coded signals. As long as you have the transponder ID, you can track pretty much anything. That file you lifted from the Galbank archives contained the legacy's transponder code, which I'll program into your nav system. All you have to do is get within the vicinity of Bannock 4, and the comm spike will automatically point you to the target. Cute toy, huh? Yep. How will the conduction grid module help me to get to the legacy? Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs extreme voltage and converts it to usable power on Neon. The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy, like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock 4, but it can't store the power. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull, insulating you from frying every circuit aboard. As a nice side effect, I'm betting the module will make your ship somewhat EM weapon resistant and boost its shield region. <laughs> Lucky you. What can you tell me about the key's defensive batteries? There are three defensive batteries, basically high-powered military space turrets, triangulated around the key. They were part of the UC's original defenses for the station. Pretty effective, too. Can put some serious hurt on enemy spacecraft. The good news is that the batteries have an incredibly wide field of coverage, so they can pick off ships trying to reach the key from any vector. The bad news is that they're 100-year-old tech. They keep breaking down and are expensive as hell to keep operational. Mind helping me with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so it should be an easy install. I'd like to view and modify my ship. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Let's take a look. Okay, now it's time to build. Uh, add. Okay. Where should I... Where will I find... Dockers. Engines, fuel tank, gear. Okay. Crab drives, haps, reactor, shield, structural, base, cargo, cockpit, dockers. We are circling around, right? Fuel tanks, we don't need them. Not right now. Gear, crab drives. Reactor shields. Base. Cargo. Cockpits. Engines. 
here Zhang. We are not... We don't want any of the herbs. Come on. What am I missing? Hmm. Shield generator. They were all supposed to be here, right? Laser, shield generator, pro docker. do I have to do? Install both comp spike module and conduction grid module. Where are those? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so not a problem. Sounds like fun. Why cannot I find comps? Exactly. Where were you? the comp spike and uh, conduction grid there goes conduction grid scan jammer uh, I should put on a scan jammer If I add scan jammer, it is showing me an error. See, they are gone again. Anyway, let's uh, do the flight check. Let's exit. Accept. Okay. Now uh, we are not leveled up yet. We aren't. So. Rook. 
I'm gonna ignore that. If they don't have a gift shop that sells key rings, they're missing a golden opportunity. Sure, yeah. whatever you say. So, let's go. And, uh, yeah. We have upgraded our ship, that is why all the doors are closed. But, look at the time. We are past our bye-bye time, right? So I'm gonna let it hang over here. That's it for this episode. If you're not a sub, please consider subscribing because that is my fuel and as you know, I need a lot of fuel because we are gonna go to the Crick's legacy, Crick's legacy in the next episode for sure. I can guarantee you. So the next episode is very, very vital for us. So if you are not a sub, please consider subscribing. And while you subscribe, don't forget to press that bell icon so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And yes, let me remind you, the next episode is tomorrow. Okay, it is going to be tomorrow. If you like the video, don't forget to press the thumbs up button. And if you did not, well, you can press the thumbs down button, but you know, I'll urge you not to do that. I hope to see you guys in the next episode, in the grand finale of this mission. Till then, stay safe, take care, and bye-bye. Moves. signing off.